All right, fart sniffer right there. Here's the passenger side O2. We got that in. And it's just laying up here. I'm going to go and wire up the uh, Spartan 2 wideband controller and the PCM is gone because I'm going to um, open it up and put that in there and wire in the pigtail. And then I'm going to wire to the EGR sensor and I'm gonna log it with HP tuners. So let's do this. So here's the abomination. I'm glad that I'm glad that I was able to take this video because I actually ended up putting it in the car and I was like crap I didn't actually take a video of like it's just sitting in here but I kept popping my 5 amp fuse that feeds this thing and I had to figure out what was going on so I pulled it back out um, and there must have been a short somewhere here because when I pulled these off I tested it and everything was fine these are like I was just using this, this is a five volt reference this um, um, wideband controller actually gives. So you can actually do power other stuff, five volt um, devices. So you could actually power an Arduino in this. Um, I think it only supplies, I wanna say like 500 milliamps. So it ain't a lot, but you could use it as a reference if you wanted to um, use an extra reference to the PCM for a sensor or something. Uh, but anyways, what happened was there was a short, but then when I went to test it with my test bench, after I pulled these off, it worked. So then I went to clean it back up and I freaking shorted it again. So I came back in, I cleaned all this stuff up, a little soldering braid, uh, def or desoldering braid, um, clean everything up and I just verified it. There's no shorts, at least my multimeter says there's no shorts. Um, so we should be good here. You can see this thing is just super glued um in here and it's pretty well tight uh what i want to go over just real quick before i put it in the car this is pin 41 blue this is goes to ignition power uh to the device pin 49 is a ground that goes to the ground electronics pin 50 is to the heater ground which also goes to this but then it's the grounding or grounding circuit for the bosch sensor and then these are the six pins that go to the bosch lsu 4.9 O2 sensor. Um, and I tried my best to verify that these weren't shorting out. Thing is, this is nice because this actually has built-in fault protection on like everything. So if you end up basically shorting one of these, the device just goes, just shuts off, uh, which is really cool. Um, they're fairly cheap, like 35 bucks a pop. But the fact that it has that um, is, is really cool. So uh, we're going to, I'm going to put this back together. Oh, I forgot. This is the pin 55 that goes to the PCM itself, not outside like these ones go. Um, and then this does uh, zero to five volts. And then what you do is you do the math in PCM scanner and you can read the, um, you can read the AFR. And that way this thing has its own power source. It's not relaying on the PCM at all. It's clean. And then this will supply a clean uh, voltage to the EGR and we should be good. I know some people are like, well, the EGR port doesn't read that well i've always used that with especially with remote tuning um and no one else has had an issue with that it does a pretty good job so uh it would be really nice to just use that and then i also um, have an extra port for like the i think like the field tank pressure sensor is zero to five so i can use another device on there i think what i'll do on that is when i get the arduino in here um i can use that to feed some data if i need to but uh, let's get this back together and I will throw it in the car and we will test it with a BCM scanner and see if we can read it. <laughs> okay, so it's back together, but we have a problem again. And I think I finally figured out what's going on here. So this is pin 41. Uh, it's gonna be really hard to see. Nah, darn, can't figure this out. That pin in the upper left-hand corner, that one right there, that's pin 41. So if I touch pin 41 in here, there it is. Touching pin 41. If I touch pin 42, nothing. 43, nothing. Four, five. If I go up to 49. Where is it? Oh, no, it's not gonna do it. So it's not grounded. So yeah, obviously this is, means it's grounding. But yeah, pin four, 41. So what's happening is it's touching the power in here is touching the case somewhere and the only way it's touching it is either the input here or at 
the sensor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure that out and I'm going to probably just seal it with a hot glue or um, electrical tape or heat shrink. So once we do that, we'll verify it again and then hopefully it works. I just blew like my fourth five amp <laughs> fuse. So later. You guys ready for some cool stuff? Watch this. Outside. So some of these pins are case ground, like grounded to this thing, the PCM. That, this says on the diagrams it's not used, it's grounded. That's here, that should not be happening. So that thing is touching the case. And I have another free one here, like right next to it. That one, that one, sorry. Oops. It's like that one's grounded. That one's grounded. And kinda, yeah. I think, I think all the edge ones are grounds. Yeah, so that is why. So you cannot use pin 41. You can't, I don't think you can use any of the edges. Any of the ones that say they're not used on like 41 to like all the all the ones and zeros pretty much so 1 to 10 11 to 20 i think they're all just ground to the case so i gotta just switch it which is fine i'll switch it over here and that would be the reason why it's popping fuses it's always something but you learn there we are egr sensor 4.96 volts I'm gonna start the car just for a little bit and then I'm gonna take a video to see if it'll actually read. The voltage should drop. And if it drops, then we can do the math and then we can set that to AFR. Your wideband sensor connected directly to a P59 or P01, but P59 PCM reads an HP tuners. All we have to do is just do the math. It's the same concept of plugging in like an AEM or anything like that. We're good.